Okay, let's unbox the three car velocity set and the lock pilot, which is the DCC code required to operate it. It is the 54615 lock pilot. It is not a sound decoder, it's just a basic decoder, but has all the functions available to operate the velocity. Let's open it first. Packaging, there's the chip. Nice small chip. And you can see the plug is at one end. Next up is the velocity. There's the box. The rubber foam protected. Oh, we have a manual as well. That could be very useful. And here is the trains in a foam package with wrap. Let's pull one out. It is pretty tight. You see how it came out? And there we go. That's a that's a dummy unit, so we'll put that aside. Metal unit, we know it's going to be definitely a dummy. Yep, it's a dummy one as well. And finally, the motor unit. And there is the motor unit. Per the instructions, let's try and open up the body. In the instructions, I say use um, little toothpicks, but I don't have any to hand, so I'm going to use these plastic ties you use for your bread because I can easily get them under. So let's have a go. As per the instructions, they say hold it up and get your finger under the delivery here and poke something into it. In my case, poking the plastic thing in. But I'm going to put it on, on its side and do that, do that, do the same on this side, which I have better fingernails. That should allow me to pull the body off. There we go, it's off, just like that. Well, take a bit more care than I did. Okay, body's off. We've got the decoder pin down this end. Put aside the body. You see I'm using the nice foam top which came with the unit. And you see decoding is just to take the pin off. So there's the dummy one. Came off like that. Match up the DC decoder to it. And we'll go back on the same way. Taking a bit of care. You don't want to stuff up the pins like I did. So let's try that again. There we go. Now that we put that on, with the chip now in place, and put the body back on, which is a simple matter of just. Carefully putting the body back on, hear the clicks, and that is done. So there's the dummy chip which you can keep or throw. You still have your manual to configure the 
unit. Remember, it's like a number three. And we'll take that down to the trainer and give it a... Okay, we've got brought the velocity set down to the main layout. We are going to put it on the track and couple it up. In the background is the two curve velocity set I've already done, and it works quite well. So let's have a go at putting them together. As per the instructions, it says put them on the side and bring them together slightly and carefully. And that's what we're going to have a look at now. Got to get the pins in correctly. Otherwise, it won't couple up. Trying to keep these pins correct. There we go, that's one's in. Next is to do the second one, which I won't do quite as informatively. So. Excuse the arms. Bring up the cups together and put them in. So that means they are now coupled as a unit and now I'm going to attempt to put them on the track properly. Just readjust the tripod and being such an unwieldy unit I did it on a piece of wood so it's nice and flat. So now what I'm going to do is hopefully rotate all three and drop them on the layout. Okay, here is the summary. And as you can see, I've parked my velocities in the rail car bays in the upper staging yard. Both units run very well. So far, no derailments. Um, the two car unit goes very well. It's a bit faster than the um, three car unit. I haven't played with the CVs or anything. They've just been renumbered. As the leading loco of the three car is 1150 and the motorised car as well of the two car set is 1116 well that's what it says on the number boards they go very well, lights work and they will allow me to do many years of fast regional rail link traffic on my HO scale Medbury Avenue Railway thank you to Southern Models for bringing out such a fine model